and welcome to Hacker Week TV. I am called Zero. And I am called Ben. We both have a voice now. We would like to thank Nick Dino for giving us speech and the mouth. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Now let's follow along with Nick Dino and he shows you how we were created. You will see what is inside our body and what's in our brains. Yes, indeed, we will do that very thing. So, uh, welcome to Hack a Week, and here we go. We're going to take a look inside these, how they were all put together, and then look at a final conversation between the two. We're back with installment number four, and so let's take a look at what we're doing this week. This week, we have to take all of this stuff that was on the breadboard and arrange it in a different manner off the breadboard. That's what I've done here with an Arduino Uno, or Uno, depending on how you want to pronounce it. But I took the perf board that I built, uh, has the LM386 on it, and a little uh, booster circuit for that that runs through the MOSFET, runs the motor in the box. And the uh, Emic 2 is right there, soldered on to the perf board. So that's all one nice little unit now. And then I jumper wired over to the Arduino which is running everything here. Let's uh, connect it up and give it a test. Well, I have some color here. Holy crap, spackle. Hell no. So, that works I okay. Like. Now I need to do that again with this other board that I built. So I basically just duplicated what I had there. One for each robot. I need to get the, uh, the other Emic module off from here, mount it on here, then we need to put that in the other box and uh, refine everything a bit, get it all mounted and working and then we'll let them talk to each other. The second unit is built and uh, it's ready to speak. I like to process data. Oh my gracious. My creator made me tall and pretty. So we've got the motor Open going. The pipe bay doors hell. And some sound. Open the pipe bay doors hell. And a female voice. Thank you very much. Now we put it all inside the second box. Let's examine this code that we have going here. I started out with the, the basic code that I used in the other videos. This code I'll post on the website on Hack -A Week. Dot com. So if you uh, if you want the code, go to the project page there for the Emic Two uh, Zero in Betty episode, and you'll find all this stuff. So anyway, we've got the the libraries included for software serial. Uh, defined all the pins up here like we did before. Here's the new thing: uh, this string of phrases, and this is where all the phrases that they say are contained in this line. There are 13 of them. The string is called output. And then we go down in here to the setup, to the usual stuff with the pins in and out, and begin a serial port, open that up. Then we send a few commands to the uh, Emic. And uh, let's see, this one here is the one for the volume. This one is for the voice, uh, N3, so that's Betty. Um, then the, uh, the volume is just simply between the two parentheses brackets. You put quote V for voice, and then you put the number. Uh, I think it's 0 to, what is it, it's right here somewhere, 0 to 48, and uh, that's the volume for the voice, so you put forward slash and N always at the end of these commands, and a quote, and close it, and then the uh, semicolon, there you go, that's how you speak to the emic and send it commands in an Arduino, go check out the code and you'll see. Then we got the setup for the emic, and then here we go into the randomness, and right here is a random seed generator. It just reads the pin zero, analog read. There's nothing on pin zero. So it just generates a random number from that, and then from that random number uses it to come up with a randomly picked sort of <laughs> phrase from the phrases. It's not that random. It's good enough for now. I'd like to get it a lot more random and be able to access a whole lot more phrases, which may take uh, possibly some processing or a bigger processor with more RAM on board, but that's for future projects. 
So there is the output, and then what we do is go MX Serial Print Output, and then it, it will output the phrase that has been chosen. That's it, in a nutshell. There's the code to make it speak random phrases in a very simple manner. Look, aren't they cute? This is uh, zero right here. Zero would be the mail. Zero being called zero because in the code, to call up a uh, regular voice, which is just a kind of a masculine voice, it's uh, zero is the, the the command. So in zero is what we saw last week, all that stuff, kind of smashed in there all compact now. Put everything on a little foam board, zero, and then stuck it down inside the box. There is a USB connection going on that powers the uh, Arduino and allows me to experiment and play around. There's also 12 volts at one amp coming in that drive the motor. That's not powered up at the moment. And then over here we have Betty. Betty, because uh, in the code it's number two is the command um, for beautiful Betty's voice and that's what's going on in this one. And all the same stuff is in here except this board says, well you can see it right there, it says Betty. That's right, this is Betty. So, uh, they're running right now. The code is running on the Arduinos. They just need uh, the 12 volt power supply plugged in so you can uh, hear them speak. So, uh, it's kind of goofy. Here we go. Oh, my gracious. My mother was a 3D printer. My creator made me dark and pretty. I doubt it. My father was a making touch. Ah, I love you. You are sure it? Hell no. Open the pot data is cut. Spackle. Ah, I love you. Oh my gracious. You do not know what you are talking about. My father was a making touch. Ah, I love you. My mother was a 3D printer. There we go. Thank you very much. These guys uh, talk to each other all day randomly like this. Um, I would like to get them to be a little more interactive with some means back and forth of you know when they spoke so they don't talk over each other and maybe something context sensitive to the way they respond and I was thinking of doing that with maybe uh, an IR LED and send a pulse train through it, something that's specific for each phrase. But this took uh, quite a bit of work just to get it to this point um, of two good working models with random phrases happening, sort of random. Analog read off pin zero is pretty basic stuff. If I was to put a little noise into pin zero, that might help with the randomness a bit. And I will definitely experiment with that in the future. I'm going to experiment with these a whole lot as time goes by because for like maybe the next year I think I'll keep adding to them and seeing what else I can get them to do and how they can interact with people and each other and then maybe end up at Maker Faire Bay Area next year with them. That might be kind of fun. Uh, be fun getting past TSA with these guys. Oh well, we'll worry about that when the time comes but uh, just a reminder uh, to help out with some of that kind of stuff uh, if you want to donate go to my website and click on the donate button and that's all I'll say about that if uh, you want to share some help uh, please do so anyway thanks for watching keep on hacking let's turn it back over to these guys would you like some coffee my mother was a 3d printer Wow. My creator made me handsome. Ha ha ha. Oh my. I feel anxious. Ha ha ha. Oh my. Why have you come here? Open the pot data is hell. I'm nervous. Oh my gracious. <laughs>